Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to check if your processor is able to run Windows 11 version 25H2. In previous version, Microsoft sadly did introduce a requirement that can't be bypassed and it's SSE 4.2 instruction set, particularly a feature called PAP CNT. There are hacks to bypass it, but it only works for installing Windows, but once installed, Windows will not boot up. If you have a tablet device, there is a chance that it has ARM processor and for CPUs of this architecture, there is also a requirement introduced. It's a separate one, so it has to be at least ARM version 8.1 processor. Requirements for both architectures were introduced in 24H2 version of Windows 11 and in recent version 25H2 they are still implemented, so it seems future versions will still have them. So if you are watching it in the future, after another version of Windows 11 was released, this video is probably still useful. So let's check if your CPU has SSE 4.2. I will show you three methods. First one, you will not have to use any software. With other two, you will have to use programs, but we will use portable versions, so you will not have to install anything, leaving your system registry untouched. Method number one, cpuworld.com site. Keep in mind that this method may not work with tablets that have ARM architecture processors because CPU World site only has few ARM CPUs in its database and those CPUs are older than version 8 of ARM architecture. So for ARM processors please use method number 2 or method number 3. So with this method first we will have to know what processor do we have. So assuming that you have earlier version of Windows already installed on your device, we go to search box either in our taskbar or in start menu as I I do here and then we type in about in the search field then we click about your PC. As you can see I have Ryzen 5 3600 and I copy the name of it without the number of the cores in the name. Then I go to cpuworld.com site in my browser and on the upper right corner of this site I see another search field. I paste in the name of my CPU and press enter key or go button on screen. I see Ryzen 5 processor family, I click it, then I scroll down to search for my particular CPU and here we have Ryzen 5 3600. Instead of entering list of all CPUs from a given family, you can click directly on your CPU name on the search results screen visible before. Here I scroll down to extensions and technologies section below and I see SSE 4.2 mentioned here. So this processor is able to run Windows 11 25H2. Method number 2. HW Info Software. We go to a site hwinfo.com, then press free download button. Here we will choose the portable version in the middle, then below we will press free download button again. We have to choose one of external servers, so I will go with SourceForge. We are redirected to SourceForge site and download should start automatically. In our zip archive we have three versions of HW Info. I will extract them all. I will use 32 bits version, but you better use 64 bits version. There is also 64 bit version for ARM processors, so if you are on tablet device, then use this one. I will press dot .exe file once with right mouse click and then press run as administrator with left mouse click. And then I have to confirm with yes. Here we have to choose full mode and then we see info about our CPU straight away and in features section I see that my CPU has SSE 4.2. Method number 3. CPU Z software. This method is similar to previous one. We have to go to a site, but this time cpuid.com. And on the left side, I click for Windows under this CPU Z logo. I will scroll down to get Windows version. I click zip English and then download now. In our zip archive, we have two versions of CPU Z. I will extract them all. I will use 64 bits version. I will press the .exe file once with right mouse click and then press run as administrator with left mouse click and then I have to confirm with yes. And here in instructions field we see SSE 4.2 instruction set mentioned. As you can see there is also version for ARM64 architecture. By the way, I also made other video about how to create Windows 11 installation media for installing it on unsupported devices with no TPM module, less than 4 GB of RAM memory and no secure boot and I made another video about the installation process itself. Alright, and that's it about this video. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button below. Have a good one. Bye.